Okay, hello everyone to the fifth episode of the PVSYS tutorial. So today I'll be uh, completing the standalone system. Uh, as I said, it's, it will only take two episodes to finish it. So now I'll run the simulation. And as you can see, I'm generating 4,164 kilowatt hours per year. Uh, and here are the data that I'm getting. So as you can see, it's slightly different from the grid connected system. Okay. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it's really important to see if your system really generates uh, the enough electricity for your system or not. So uh, as you can see here, um, I require uh, three th uh, three hundred seventy nine kilowatt hours per month. So three hundred seventy nine point three times 12 so it's 4551 kilowatt hours per year and if i run the simulation again uh, getting 4164 uh, production uh, per year so the system will be running uh, and uh, with the usage of battery but now let me try to decrease the number of solar panels and see what would happen okay so two by two as we can see here, the PV array power is strongly undersized with respect to the needs. The missing energy should be provided uh, by other means. Okay, so let me ignore it and run the simulation and see what I'll be getting. So the simulation will be running, but I won't be getting enough electricity for my system. As we can see from this graph here, uh, the green bar is. Uh, uh, so the, the red bars are the performance ratio and here are the, the solar fractions so how much electricity I'm generating to how much load that I need so as you can see here it's 0 0.5 which is lower than 1 which means the system is not generating enough electricity so I'll increase the number of solar panels to 5 press ok run the simulation again so as you can see I'm getting one uh, solar fraction so so that means the system is running fine and i'm getting enough electricity for my system let's return it to four and see again so as you can see the solar fraction is 0 0.942 it's less than one and the system production as i calculated it it's less than the amount of electricity that i need by little much okay so that's why you need to size your system manually and check the numbers and validate them manually okay uh, now we'll go with the near shading uh, i'll just import the same i'll import the file that it's already there so for example this is a how this is the field this is a tree and the house that i'll be using close scene press ok yeah update orientation parameters press ok there are still the area 3d fields larger than the area yeah uh, here because this 3d is uh, 256 meters squared but i only have 30 meters squared of uh, solar panels so i have to decrease the area of the solar panels so I'll just so the required is 13 it was like this so okay i'll do it like this just close scene it's still 53 uh, i have to decrease the area even more for the solar panels because the shed area is 52 i have okay so 13.6 Okay, so I know the system doesn't look this much. Okay, maybe if I delete this, it will look fine because I'm using low load. Okay, so I'll compute again the shading factor. And now I run the simulation. As you can see, the solar fraction is 0 0.966. Uh, I can increase the number of solar panels by one. Okay, here now I have to increase the area. Again, so I'll just change. Uh, 
okay now press uh, recalculate recompute everything run run the simulation again so i'll be getting everything that i want and the report states that the system should be running fine and here's the 3d model of the system the hourly distribution the solar fraction and everything is running fine and everything is running good okay uh, the economic evaluation same as the grid connected system there are no big differences uh, the advanced simulation similar to it the report so you can access the report uh, directly and see uh, everything that you have made so far uh, and I think this will be the end of the explanation part of the grid tied connected system and the standalone system uh, in the next one or two episodes I'll be giving a question uh, a large and big question with a lot of data uh, and I will split the, the simulation into maybe two 20 minutes episodes uh, so you can see how the research part is done how everything is done to calculate everything and make it everything uh, work fine okay so the next two episodes are really important and uh, i hope you really attend them uh, because without them you won't really understand everything that was being mentioned uh, in the episodes uh, because I was only explaining the theoretical part of them not explaining the practical part and how you are going to really design your own system using the PVSYST so I hope you enjoyed and have a great day